only the best superfoods become Biogland superfoods. Biogland chia seeds are sun ripened and sustainably farmed. And Biogland select only nutritionally packed black chia seeds. Omega-3, protein, fibre, Biogland chia seeds. Only in pharmacy. As most people are aware, Mark Murphy sustained a dislocated shoulder in the game against Melbourne on the weekend. Uh, really unfortunate. He's seeing the specialist today uh, and it's looking likely that he will need surgery on that shoulder. That's, that surgery will probably take place next week, so he certainly won't play for the rest of the season. I suppose the benefit of having uh, surgery early next week is that he'll be uh, right for the start of pre-season uh, for 2016, which is, which is an upside. Yeah, Michael Jamison came off the ground after receiving a, a knock uh, above the shoulders. He had a, a very stiff neck and the doctors were concerned about that neck um, and referred pain, so they were really hesitant to put him back on the ground. Now that's all resolved now, so um, he's looking very good and very positive for uh, this week against GWS. Matthew Cruiser obviously came off the ground a little bit early uh, on Sunday in the last quarter. But it was only cramp in the hamstring. The, the thing is, though, Matthew hasn't played a lot of football over the last 18 months, so we weren't prepared to push him too hard and risk uh, further injury. Yeah, Christian Jacks hurt his ankle on Sunday against uh, Melbourne. Uh, it's called a syndesmosis, which is just really a, a sprain of one of the joints in the ankle. And he won't be uh, available for the rest of the season. He'll be out. He'll be in a boot for four to six weeks and then uh, start rehab program after that. Yeah, Levi Casbolt had his knee a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we thought it'd be okay against uh, Melbourne, but uh, after training on uh, Saturday, he pulled up a little bit sore, so he was withdrawn from the game at the very last moment. Uh, saw a specialist again this week, and the specialist has ruled him out for the rest of the season. Certainly no surgery required. He'll continue his rehab, but uh, unable to play uh, the next two games. Dennis Armfield obviously sustained a broken arm a number of weeks ago. He's had a little bit of complication with that arm. He's been training and he's uh, desperate to get back playing again, so he'll be a test at the end of the week and we'll just have to see how he comes up.